cost of putting in the lines and stuff, so. Designation uh, after she got elected. So, um, well, thank you for her service and uh, wish her well in her new position. So, um, and uh, I guess we go right into the uh, agenda. I guess we we'll public comment. Oh, we'll take we'll take public comment first. Do we have to? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, legally you do not. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's not on the agenda, so. Yeah. 
I now have three copies of the film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How'd you get the other ones? Uh, you gave me one. Oh, you, you had one at the uh, meeting at RCTV oh. that ended up in my hands. Okay. And somehow I have another one, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Basically, I think we have a contradiction if you read it. If you read the 5921C use of additional taxing authority, in essence it says you have to appropriate for the purpose stated on the question. And it says teaches classrooms, etc. And then down at 7134 it says you can't do that. You must vote a lump sum. So I think there's a conflict there. Are you that's Mass General Law you're challenging? Yeah. Okay. But are you talking about what we're going to vote tonight, or are you talking about the question? Either way, whatever you guys are going to do. Well, I just so want to, I'm just bringing this up yeah. for your information. Yeah. Because as I read uh, the belly question, it specifies classroom teachers learning and athletics on the school side. If you go down to use of additional taxing authority, EMAC, and do what I've highlighted, Instead, you can't appropriate it from the tax levy unless you vote the, as a stated on the purpose on the question. And if you go down to 7134, it says you can't do that. You have to point it. Right, because you're saying mass general law is in contradiction to itself. Yeah. 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 So I don't think you can do it. That's my, my understanding. Mind if I say something? Yeah. We haven't spoken about this particularly. I just have a question for you. I think I know the answer now. Um, if the ballot question had just said 4.15 million for the general operation of the town, right. no you'd, you'd have been okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to ask. And, uh, I, I don't have any problems with the school department and think passed by, mm -hmm. but I question the legality of the way it's set up. I don't believe that you could appropriate the school department's money. Yeah. Well, but they chose to worry. Well, that, that's that's the they chose with town council's approval. So I well, understand your point, and I understand town council's response to your point. So I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Right. You can see that even mass general laws in contradiction. So how are we supposed to be perfect to get out of the law? I understand that, but that, that's why we pay a town council. Yeah. I mean, but, I'll fax them this. I just asked them the general question that yeah. Reddy's raised to me. Yeah. And, uh, you could you can put a ballot question any way you want. Right. And it's perfectly legal. But this contradicts this says you have to do this, but this says you can't do that. Right. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. Right, so, so maybe we'll, we should be we'll addressing we might. the state. Huh? We might then. If we can't, then we can. Maybe we'll just be in the middle. <laughs> we might. <laughs> Either do or don't. <laughs> no, but it sounds like your question should really be to the state. This is. Uh, I've written to the attorney general. Haven't got a call back. I oh. talked to. Because to me, that's the big. This, this afternoon, I'm they surprised don't. she doesn't have you on speed. And the Department of Revenue will not answer your comments. And they, they answer really? to, to the government. And they really give us She kind of felt. When, she, when I first explained to her, she mm -hmm. felt that I was right. Mm -hmm. But she said, I can't give you legal opinion. This is somewhat DOR. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll ask him. Yeah. I'll ask him. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys tonight. Okay. I mean, the, the override went through fair and square. Everybody spoke for what they wanted. But I think the school committee, or some of the parents, wanted it specifically spelled out. I think they shot themselves in the foot. And that's my feeling. I don't, I don't know what the motivation was for that. Initially, think, it was I for the schools, and it was a total. Yes, and right. And but then when, then when the municipal side split it out, I think they felt. I think that's right. That's the impression I got. Transparency. I, I think a lot of people want transparency, but I don't think they understood by transparency that they shot themselves in the foot. Just for for crazy ideas just for a second. If the school department agreed that they were going to spend it this way. No, it doesn't say that. They can't. I, 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 they can't. Well, they can do whatever they want in terms if of If you give them a lump sum. We have to. We have no, no choice. You can't. This says you have to do that. But as part of what we need to vote on tonight, we give them a lump sum. One number. Uh, I don't believe you can. The way that's written. So what are, what are you hoping? What are you looking to get uh, I guess I'm you've, raised a, you've raised a valid point. Yeah. I, I understand it. I'm looking to get the attorney general assembly to say yes or no, one way or the other, and I'll be satisfied. 
Okay. I may not be happy, but yeah. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Because I think, again, I think. Ansel won't make huh? you quite as satisfied, I guess. That's right. <laughs> Remind him he still owes me my town report. Oh, that's right. I think he keeps. <laughs> Yeah, his Maybe he's still looking to it. I mean, I'm not going to, I don't know all no. the background work he did. No. But he said communities have done this before. Well, if you fun. look, and I, I think I brought it with me for, this is the, this is the old one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Okay. It's 2000, nothing changed except the screen on the computer. But it gives you many examples of how to set up a ballot question. Mm -hmm. And nowhere in here does it actually specify the way that we did ours. Because he, he showed me an exa an actual example, I don't remember the year, where someone did it this way. So we'll see. I mean, it's yeah. you've asked a fair question, we'll get an answer for I you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for listening to me. I know, thank you, Bill. I know I'm a pain in the butt, but uh, all I know is you can do it. got to honest. Yeah. There's a vacancy on FinCom now. Huh? There's a vacancy on FinCom now, I'm just saying. No. I enjoy, listen, I enjoy the cemetery department because we have no complaints from our customers. <laughs> never, never, never raised up for Who knows? When I go, you might. No one's me yet. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I had the pleasure of last week uh, for that is, there's a 109 year old gentleman. Yeah. Well, 102, I'm sorry. 102. And he had got the bronze uh, uh, silver star yeah. because he was a medic and he would not leave his uh, men behind. He stayed with him and was taking POW. And he was a member of the 26th uh, Infantry Division, which is the one Camp Curtis. And the two star general came out and said hello. There was about 20 guys. Yeah. Wow. Nelson Burbank, uh, Kevin Bono, and myself. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. And then the other one, uh, last or 99 years old, uh, bad 10 death line survivor. Yeah. The guy's got a wonderful, both of them, such a wonderful attitude of life. Mm. You know? Well, that's how you live that life. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So every time I see them, it says, I've got nothing to complain about. Right. All of right. them complain about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Well, that's great. Thanks, Thanks Bill. Bill. Thank you. <laughs> Um, what your uh, task to vote is on page 49 of your warrant. Um, there is an addition, but after you finish the general fund, I'll, I'll get to that. General fund. Yeah, I'll stop talking about it. That's it. Do you have a package of things right now? Okay. It's a quiet job. Um, has she designed yet, yeah, or she will? No, me. Okay. Well, that'll we actually still have one vacancy right now. Okay. Yeah, the task is going to meet in the next uh, six weeks. My cousin resigned, and she is my cousin ten generations back. <laughs> All right, thanks, folks. So do we have to vote again on the total amount of each appropriation, or do we vote separately? Yeah, on we those? vote every line item that's okay. different. Yes. I just look on the that point nine to that's all for right budget. Okay. Now I love it. I suppose you could make a motion to accept all that as written. That'd be fine, and then pull out anyone who objects. But as you've done that in the past, might be better just to go line by line so yeah. that it's. Dotting the I's, crossing the T's. Bob, I did have just a general question yeah. on the you know, additional firefighters. So really, the net effect of that should be less overtime, right? But our service would really increase because we're not increasing the minimum required on a shift, right? I, I, I broadly agree with you, but I'm not exactly sure the service wouldn't increase specifically. But in general, you're right. There's a minimum and there'll uh -huh. be an extra person now available to fill that. I imagine they can do a few more proactive things. But yeah, and I shouldn't say yeah, service, but, but the real net effect. Well yeah. I mean, none of us know what the impact on this time mm -hmm. will be. We do remember yeah. when they had one right. floater, one extra yes. person. It was very helpful. You know, there was debates back and forth about did it fully pay for itself with overtime, did it not? Yeah. <clears throat> there was some general cons cons consistency that, you know, some years it clearly did, some years it didn't. What would the second one do? And we don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. 
Bob, I would think, well, I would think that it's going to take time for these guys to come online anyway. Oh, totally. Totally. Regardless, oh, yeah. Right? No, yeah, I'm more year. going just. Yeah, so you're going to know yeah. time. That's still going to get here. Yeah. You're still going to right. this year. Yeah, right? we, we don't know that, you know, obviously this is as my former boss. So this is a high class problem, but um, we don't know how fast we can get four firefighters into an academy, let alone hire. Exactly. So. And we know that there's a little delay anyway. I was just trying to. But obviously, make sure we're looking at it properly because we did increase the minimum shift. Correct. Yeah. We're well, still in the negotiations, but okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Bob, the uh, the percentage column, the percentage change, is that hard coded and not really reflecting? I mean, for example, you look at the um, second to last column percent yeah. change. That should. Compare FY19 override budget to FY19, uh, no, to FY18, which you don't see on the page. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new math. <laughs> Make up uh, And on the page before. Back into FY19. <laughs> and the page before, that column is against 18, and you can see it. It just didn't fit. Are they mailing those books to us this year? You're talking about Are they mailing those books to us this year? They usually do. Uh, but, uh, you haven't got yours yet? No. No. no, I take mine up at the police yeah, station. Yeah, they're at the police station. Yeah. Usually she sets them aside and we give them to you, but I guess she's yeah. not. So I guess well, I the, the police they've station. been mailed to us in the past. No. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I Maybe a know. courier, not oh, US. Okay, okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, probably yeah. the delivered to the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, you know, that was before the old right pass. We could. <laughs> Normally. Now it's going to come on the air course and carry the colors. The grand ceremony. So what's the first time you meeting? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 23rd? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 April, yeah, April 23rd. Yeah. Right after this, actually. Um, I believe we haven't had our pre-town meeting, but yeah. I, I yeah. believe the budget will be the first day of the 6th. That's probably what we do for the second night. And then can you remind me again what's uh, what's the increase in capital? Um, that specific amount, 207500 will be added to the permanent building committee's funding. Um, the superintendent and I agreed to that, although I don't know if we ever said it in public. Uh, we'll do that at town meeting. We'll amend the capital plan. And then That's a good how, they, that. Yeah, how they choose to spend it, of course, we don't know. But we know there's a number of projects such as kill them that they could get started on. They have a hundred something thousand now that I allocated. This would make it 300 something. Um, and then we'll meet with them because we obviously had a chance to meet with them. And if for some reason they don't like that course of action in November town meeting, we may do something else. But my guess is they'll they'll want that money. They'll need that money. The so reason, sorry. So I think the, the reasoning was to allow for 5% um, essentially the override. Right. So it, it would stay consistent. So we've got a capital the total. Because otherwise, we need to come up with that money next year yeah. to match the 5%. That makes sense. Have we, or do we need to vote a maximum for the building committee? Um, I thought about whether you needed to revote some of the Warren articles. Um, you know, we could. You could revote the one that does capital. Um, I, I just decided it was. No, I was thinking simple. more for the building committee to have money. And, yeah, and that's in the capital plan. That that is a capital item. Yeah, but there's no other because it's not a revolving fund, so it's there's no, no other. No, and it goes away after year. Kind of so. Oh, okay. So it is. Oh, so it it's not going to be sort of a. Nope. Okay, got it. So you know, in theory, you could vote the article. That does count, but yeah. I, everyone will know what you mean. <laughs> and if you really want to, you can vote uh, Thursday night at town meeting. Um, I, I have not, Sharon has worked on some of the presentation, I have not seen it yet, but I'm assuming on the first night of town meeting we'll be doing capital plan amendments so that this will come up. Um, that's Article 3 or something. Pre meeting been scheduled yet? No. Okay. Yes, yeah, article uh, four in this one, um, changing the amending the capital. So there will be a change to FY19. You know, if, if you
you want to revote Article 4, you can. But, uh, Just thinking things through for a second. Uh -huh. um, in the book, it's pre-override, all the numbers. So, for example, capital debt is 7.4 million in the book. Correct. Where now it's 7.6 something. Six something, yeah. Yeah. That's why, you know, we decided to do the whole book no override, except for I slipped in that one page, that good just comment. so people, and I, and I have a comment at the end, I didn't slip in a completely accurate page. The general fund is fine. Water and sewer are going to need a little more money because we split a clerical position three ways. But the rates that Slackman have already voted, you know, well paid for that. Um, it, it would be reasonable for you to revote Article 4 and add in uh, 207500 of FY19 capital to the um, uh, permanent building committee. There's no harm in that. That's the intention. Uh, I don't think there's any other article you need to do. I, just, just while we're on articles, on page six, for those of you that have it, everything that was voted is fine. There is a addition typo. Word doesn't add like Excel does. Um, but the the totals are fine. It's just one figure is off by ten thousand. Just so you know. You gotta tell us which one. Um, if you look under increase and you look under subtotals, that should be three seventy eight five hundred. Thank you. And then the fifty two five hundred and the four thirty one are both accurate. And and I don't have a number for you tonight. I think it's going to be three hundred thousand for snow and ice. But if you vote it tonight, it's going to snow again. So. <laughs> That was the last estimate I got from uh, Sharon and from DPW. Yep. So we're expecting to vote that on the floor? Yeah. Okay. It was snowing here yesterday, if no one noticed. Not plowable. Keep no. words. <laughs> Not plowable. <laughs> um, so at the first order of business, I'd say, is on page 49. You should probably just go through all the lines that changed. Okay. Um, any other questions before we begin this, uh, the votes? Yeah. Um, can I get a motion on line B99? I'll make a motion for B99 benefits. It'll be the amount, new amount of $18,207,600. Sure. <laughs> Second. Second. Okay. Um, discussion? If not, we'll move right to the vote. Um, all those in favor? Oh, we don't have a... Yeah, yeah, we can't... No! Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, there are uh, seven, so it's seven out. Okay. Um, uh, so, Paul, you can Motion to approve line C99 in the amount of three million one thirty-three one hundred. Second. Okay. Uh, discussion? All those in favor? 7 0. Move line D99 debt service. The well, that didn't change. We didn't have to leave that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so leave it alone. All right, so we jump down to line G91 administrative services wages, the amount of $1,428,725. Second. Okay, discussion? All those in favor? 7 0. Motion to approve line G92 administrative services expenses in the amount of one million four hundred and ninety-one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Seven no. Somebody doesn't make sure I catch that. <laughs> Somebody votes against, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to approve line H91 public service wages in the amount of $1,417,725. Second. Okay, discussion? All those in favor? 7 0. Motion to approve I 91 finance wages in the amount of $721,250. I'll second that one. And uh, discussion? If not, all in favor? 7 0. And uh, a motion to approve line J91 in the amount of $10,724,775. Second. Okay. 
<laughs> Discussion? All those in favor? 7 0. Make a motion to approve line item J92, public safety expenses in the amount of 527200 Second. Okay, all those in favor? It's going to mess up the votes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to approve line K91 public works wages in the amount of $2,660,850. Second. Second. Um, discussion? Wait, wait a half a second. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, uh, we're looking at page 49 of the warrant report. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. My apologies, everyone. Like line K91 is on the floor as amended. Okay. And we're only voting the changes. Okay. So the 2660850 was just the motion, the new number for K91. Okay. Um, no. For the discussion, or have we? Yeah, we're for the discussion. Yeah, for the discussion. Oh, for the discussion. Okay. Okay. All those in favor? Um, do we want? So it's eight oh. Do we want to um, see if Ann wants to vote in favor of the previous items so that the votes mm -hmm. are all the same? Or? No, because they now have to move to reconsider. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a roll call. Go on. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Move to accept line L91 library wages in the amount of $1,328,550. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Motion approve line L92 library expenses in the amount of $365,965. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Does that take us to U99? Mm -hmm. so. Move to approve line U99 school department in the amount of $44,860,275. I don't think. Second. <laughs> uh, further discussion? Um, actually, I will discuss. So, I mean, this is in part Bill's objection earlier. Um, and yet we are just voting on a line item, so. Okay, that's that's it. <laughs> All those in favor? Cato. Bill, there's some problems. Um, let me describe a couple things that I, for better or worse, chose not to put on this page. Um, lines W99 and X99. I'm gonna ask you to vote numbers that are 10,500 higher. I, th I thought by putting that down here, I might confuse people about the override, so I just decided I just didn't want to do it. Um, there's a clerical position that was described in um, the override that's funded 50% by general fund and DPW and 25% each in water and sewer. Um, I think it's better transparency to vote these higher numbers. Honestly, the MWA assessment is plus or minus 50 to 200,000 every year. We could get away with not doing it. Um, and I'm sure it'd be fine. Selectmen have already voted grades that'll easily pay for this, but I think it's a better practice to acknowledge that each of those, there's, there's things in here that say clerical positions that should add 10,500 each. So I have um, for line, line W99 an amount of 6,347,475. And I have an amount in X99 for sewer. Um. Did you say 10,500? Uh, 10,500 each. So isn't it so that's 355? Um, I'm sorry, yeah, wait a minute. Let me add. Okay. Yeah, 356, 356, 356, 356, 456, 456, 475. Right. Just like I meant. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we're thinking. <laughs> 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 sorry, we're all over that. <laughs> <laughs> Try that number once again. Well, we really do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fired. It's, it's, it's enterprise fund. Um, Six million three fifty six four seventy five. Okay. Do you want to correct the other total too? Sewer is six million five zero two one five zero. Okay. 
So if I could have those motions. Where are we going down the line here? I think it was 382. So, okay, I didn't know if that was the amounts. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, motion to approve X, line X and 90, no, uh, W99 Water Enterprise Fund with an increase of 10,500. Yeah, so the new number is 6356475, if I've done that properly. What you just said. Yeah. And you did the second. A second. Okay. I further, dis math. further discussion. All those in favor? Eight zero. So that vote changes on the sheet too. So yeah, I'm um, a big deal with that. So I um, move to approve line X ninety nine sewer enterprise fund in the amount of six, six million five hundred two thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Right. I second. Further discussion? All those in favor? 8 0. Uh, I guess I would suggest you re vote Article 4, which is the capital plan. Um, for SY19, currently, <coughs> for those of you that don't have a book, there's a net of no change to the capital plan from the November capital plan. But there were three changes, um, plus 500,000 for the dispatch center, minus 450,000 for um, building security, and minus 50,000 for two TPW parks issues. But we already voted and that, You already right? voted that, yeah. so I'd ask you to now accept um, a motion for FY19 in the amount of you know, 207,500 for uh, the Permanent Building Committee. Let me just see exactly how we say that. Okay. It's under the core facilities. Oh, because it is documented in there? Not the new number, but oh, there oh, is oh. a line for this with a not with an amount, so let me just find it. Yeah, there's a, there's a line that says 150,000. This is how I made a note to myself, plus 207,500. So to add 207500 the new number being $357,500 for a permanent building committee capital. What page are you going to um, Page 204, <coughs> uh, very close to top, top third. Um, permanent building committee, 150000 See it? Yes. Okay. So that's now 357500 For? FY for FY19. Yes, so I'll make a motion to approve for Article 4. Article 4 is written with the addition of 207,500 for FY19 for the Permanent Building Committee, bringing the total to 357,500. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we vote the line item there, not just the total capital. Um, yeah, because you know, the Article 4 actually changes the capital plan. Okay. Um, oh, could you just speak a little bit about why this change? Oh, yeah, you were. You were oh, my apologies. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you watch um, it on the. Along the way, <laughs> and then I, I reinforced it last week, um, John Doherty and I had discussed what do we do if the override passes with the capital, the capital funding. And the most sensible thing for now, and we might change it in November, was to ask the permanent building building committee to accept funds because there's a lot on their plate potentially with Killam being close mm -hmm. to the front of the line. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what the schools or school committee will want to do with Killam, but this will give them some seed money if you okay. will. Okay, thank you. No. Any other uh, questions or comments? No? Take a vote. All those in favor? 8-0. Um, the other thing I wanted to remind and come out, but especially you, I believe we haven't had the pre town meeting, but I believe that the budget will go the second night, April 26th, Thursday. I will suggest to the moderator that we refer reports on Article 2, State of the Town, and Finance Committee report if you want to make one to that night. Um, because generally those reports, certainly yours, have been budget-oriented. 
Um, yeah. That was my thinking. If the override had not passed, I haven't really given it much more thought as to whether that's still a good or bad idea. Um, it's up to you. Whether yeah, you I want was to give a planning on some comments. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Can I say thank you and sit down? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so you'll obviously be invited to the pre-town meeting. Uh, we're going to take it from there. Okay. Dressing rehearsal? Yeah. Uh, Dressing rehearsal? Yeah. <laughs> well, Get we, your we talk on. about like who's available, who's not available. It's usually boards and committees that, you know, I have to be here this night, I have to be this night. We try to organize the thing as best we know, and then sometimes it's availability changes. Um, I, I, I think this town meeting will be relatively quick. It won't be one night, but I think it could be two nights and it shouldn't be more than three. Um, one never knows. <clears throat> I look for the budget presentation. You might have summarized my presentation. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Well, if it's one night, then it's all the 23rd, right? But most likely it's two nights. I don't see how it can possibly yeah. fit in. Yeah, okay. Um, any other uh, issues anybody wants to bring up before we go to minutes? Two, two things. I guess first is, what's the timing for, um, I don't know, it's called posting for the open finance committee spot? I, I know um, some folks who might potentially since be interested. we changed the charter, it could be any time. It used to be better to wait till the end of the fiscal year, okay. so as not to lose the first three-year term. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say now that we got her resignation on Friday, we should wait till this I Friday. How we change the bylaw? Yeah, you have. You now have. I'm saying oh, before oh, it used to be before, so sensible to wait. Mm -hmm. um, technically, the election, while it is certified, it can still be challenged through this Friday. So we'd all prefer not to do anything till next Monday sure. or, or Tuesday because it's a holiday. So I, I wouldn't see any reason not to post it on Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever to get around to it. And by all means, encourage anyone you know. Yeah. I said I think there's uh, some interest. So. Okay. And then um, the selectmen need to figure out the chair. I'll just leave it at that for now because the selectmen chair, the FinCon chair, and the moderator are the selection committee. And they'll have figured that out um, either by tomorrow or, the, or next week. Okay. And then did I see, did I hear a rumor that there was some state money for roads that got pushed through? Um, yes and no. There's the usual uh, highway path paving money. Yeah. Approximately 600000 just a little smaller. Okay. Um, there is um, an unspecified amount that's certainly in the millions to repave Main Street. That's probably what you heard. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah. Route 28, the portion the state owns is is border to border, with the exception of a small strip in the middle of downtown that we own. Okay. So they will pave everything. Um, I've heard two two thoughts, but it will be paved by next spring. Um, it partly depends on the weather in the winter or weather in the fall. So I think the safe assumption is it will be paved next spring. It's a slight chance it could be paved in the fall. Well, okay. And also, I haven't had a chance to tell you this, and, and this is by no means like awesome news that's immediate, but um, our representatives and senator were able to tuck in $3 million for building security into a bond bill. It is not fully passed through the House and the Senate, but it is sitting in that bond bill. Nice. Um, if it remains in the bond bill, then the question is getting funding, and as you know, that could take years, but it's a good start. Mm -hmm. And um, also for your benefit. I'm sorry, how would that be earmarked? Um, there's a lot of things in a bond bill. There's many years worth versus the funding available. So then it's sort of uh, West Street was one, downtown was another. We were probably in a bond bill for 10 years. So there's no telling. It just gives you the first step of now you can ask for, um, hey, speed it up. The three million is statewide. No, three million for Reading to, Reading. Build, okay. to do building security. We have about four million in the project, so I asked for any amount up to four, and they put in three, which is great. That is great. Um, it's obviously not cash on the barrel, but it's, it's certainly a high priority. That's great. So, um, and just along those lines, on May 23rd, not so much for FinCom, but there will be a uh, uh, school security summit at the Scatini Library. Oh, that's four S's. 
uh, at the high school, probably at 7 o'clock, where the superintendent, the police chief, and, and me and others will, for parents especially, mm -hmm. and anyone interested, um, go over what we have, what we do. Um, some towns have talked about doing this. I believe some have done it. I heard from one town manager this afternoon that this is what I'm going to call tomorrow. Um, we had a couple requests from the community in the last few months to do something. And um, we had a meeting today, our last one, and the first thing I said was, let's not worry about all the things we can't say in public. What can't we say? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a really intense area. Well, that's what I was thinking. It's, it's but a there is, as we talked about it, there's a lot we can say, and we don't okay. know what parents do know or don't know mm -hmm. that, that we do. But there's plenty of things that the police and school do together that the community should be aware of. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Alice drills, I mean, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Training between police, fire, dispatch, and now schools are going to join some of that. Yeah. So there, there is a lot of discussion. Uh, you know, a presentation would be 30 to 60 minutes, and we have no idea what the attendance would be or what the questions would be, but we think it's an important event to hold. So. Okay. I bet you it's when, when is that? Yeah, it's uh, it's Wednesday, May 23rd at uh, 7.30. That it'll, the news will start circulating over the next two weeks. And, you know, an agenda will develop. We don't have one yet, but I may as well tell you. And um, if, if any of you have interest, we can obviously post you. We expect to post FinCA or Selectman and School Committee. I don't know if we would post you, but certainly let me know. <clears throat> and if you just want us to post you, that's fine. Then, That's uh, all. Oh, and um, I, I don't have any news. I'm still in negotiations, but as, just to remind you, I do expect some FY20 and beyond good news on health insurance. Um, we've had some very productive discussions with a section of the union now after the meeting. Uh, next week, we'll be capped with full, all the unions, 15 unions. And um, we'll have some good news for the future. More on that later. We may not know by town meeting, by the way. This may take a couple months to negotiate, um, but I'm really very encouraged. The uh, the employees are really good. They're really very collaborative. <coughs> um, it would not have taken the place of an override. <laughs> it'll, it'll help that annual gap that we always talk about. That's, uh, that's all I can think of. It's good. <coughs> Any other uh, items of business or right to the minutes? I make a motion to accept the minutes of March 7th. Second. Any discussions or comment? Those in favor? No, Beth saying that wasn't uh, I'm trying to remember. I missed both of these. Yeah, you're yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. on the March 28th meeting. A suggestion on that one, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a suggested change on that one. Okay. Well, we have to have a motion for a strike. I'll second that. <laughs> yeah, second the motion. <laughs> now a point. Um, so under others present, I think you may want to indicate school committee members. You have done, you've indicated select. Oh, oh yeah, for the title. So okay. School committee members as well. You, you got them more or less. Why is he missing them so anyways? Yeah, I think you, you have done that. Oh, and there's a uh, typo too. Yep. 
Typo. Typo and police chief. Uh, yeah. Let's say police chef, that's what I'm afraid of. Belief. Belief. Yeah. Is that nice for the candy's name? How is it? F-R-I-E-D-M-A-N. Two ends. I think so. Yeah. And I think Michelle may just be, Michelle's here, may just be one. Any other comments? If not, we'll uh, take a vote on the minutes for March 28th. All those in favor? Opposed? So it's seven, uh, six zero oh, actually. Okay, six zero oh with two. Your next meeting is a year in. Uh, 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 there's a reason you want to meet after town meeting. Just let me know. I can't remember honestly if your schedule. Most years you're not, but one year recently you did. You can do whatever you want. But, you know. Yeah. Well, most likely we'll have a meeting before town meeting. I mean that's. On Monday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because then I'll have snow and ice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so do we want to <clears throat> plan to get there a few minutes early? Um, it's tough because it's precinct meetings yeah, too. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, maybe we post you at 7.15 and then just get there when you can. It's 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 a two-minute meeting, I assume. Yeah. Uh, I just want to wait for Sharon to give me the final number, though. When I talked to her this morning, she said it looks like 300000 for snow and ice, out of free cash, no other changes. So... I don't know. She'll get back to me. Brendan, if you can just post them for uh, the 23rd mm -hmm. at uh, the, the uh, Performing Arts Center in the high school for 7.15. Should I do that for the 26th as well? Or wait until no, I don't think so. Unless okay. something happens, that should be fine. Uh, with the agenda item being um, vote on FY18 budget. I assume you'll plan to have Ray speak on the uh, Bill Brown question. I write an answer. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously he'll be there. So. He's already replied and given written opinions to the selectmen and anyone else who chose to read it. But you know, this is a new book document that Bill had not handed to me in the past. He, he explained his concerns. Um, so I'll send that to Ray and I. I don't know if Ray has specifically looked at these and answering or not. I just can't say. But Ray will get an answer. It's likely to come up, so we might as well have an answer. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's fine. All right. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Sorry. All those in favor? Opposed? Nice. 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 Nice.